All right, I got a red light and I got two Perkins. Let me head out there. Uh, say, hell, say hello, guys. Hey, guys, how you doing? Money Perkins here. Yeah, all right. No, we got two. We got uh, Damoni and Devin. And uh, I don't even know where to start. I mean, to me, I think I, I met you first, Devin. Do you remember that? You were, you were back, I think, from a Redlands working out. I do, yeah. This was a couple summers ago now. I want to, is it three years ago now? It might, it might be four because the way I remember it, I remember meeting you, and then like three summers ago, you're working out, and you said, this is my brother. He's going to be here, you know, and – yeah, that definitely adds up. Yeah, yeah, no, the time goes by. And maybe, yeah, um, I don't even know where to be. Uh, 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 Damoni, do you remember that, being there at Del Sal, watching the workouts? Yeah, I remember going for, like, just to um, watch my brother do it at first, the first time, after um, experiencing, like, some workouts. And then it eventually developed into me going with varsity next, last, uh, last year, which was a, a, a surreal experience for me. Right. No, but from watching it to doing it, because all I ever do is watch. And I get tired. Your brother, yeah, Devin, tell people about these workouts in the summer, the tires, the uh, sledgehammers. Go ahead. They're uh, definitely intense. Definitely a reason why I kept coming back, even after uh, going to junior college and college. Uh, can't deny what works. And Del, Del Sal definitely works. They definitely work hard. Right. And speaking of that, I'm trying to think, what's the age difference? About six or seven years? Eight. Eight, actually, Eight? yeah. Okay. So then, uh, Damoni, you, 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 would you have gone to the games as, like, what, like a seven- or eight-year-old to watch your brother? Yeah. Um, I began to go mostly when I was around, like, eight. Well, I was, yeah, mostly around eight. So, like, when he was, like, in his junior year because I was doing also football, like, Pop Warner football at the same time, so I couldn't really miss practice as often. So, I, when I would go, I, it would be a – it would be a great experience watching my brother play. On the yeah, what are your summer? What are your summer? So that'd be like 2012, 2013. Because uh, I didn't see those games, so you have to tell me. Uh, what are your some of your memories? Uh, some of my fond memories are riding out to LA to watch them win the championship that 2012 year. Yeah, 2012. That 2012, yeah. Uh, watching that game was an amazing experience. Seeing my brother win with the Dallas South team, hoping that could happen to me one day. That was a great experience for me. And then overall, just the, the spirit that most of the games gave off when I would go when I was around like eight or nine, it was just a great experience. Overall, great people. Dale South was just a great community to go to as a young kid. Right. And then for, uh, for you, uh, Devin, uh, your memories uh, of Dale South. Uh, my memories, definitely a roller coaster ride being at Dale South, but definitely don't regret it at all. It was definitely a, definitely a big learning experience overall that uh, – Definitely appreciate, and it's still, I don't know, paying off throughout my life now. Uh, but as far as, like, experiences go with uh, De La Salle, there's so many to really uh, – there's so many I can really cover. Uh, but football was just always, as a whole, definitely one of the best experiences I had just while at De La Salle. There's no – Right. And then, but even after De La Salle, tell people, I mean, for you, you hustled. I mean, it, to get that college degree, tell people the path you took. I mean, that was not an easy path. Yeah, so after De La Salle, I attended Contra Costa College over in uh, San Pablo, maybe about – it's about 30 minutes away from Concord. So I played uh, at Contra Costa under Alonzo J. Carter, who is now the running backs coach at San Jose State. Uh, he was actually a longtime friend of my dad, so it was easy to make that connection and just end up out there playing for them. Another – honestly, another legendary Bay Area coach I got to play under. Blessed to have that opportunity as well. So I was there for about – two years, then I made my transfer to the University of Redlands down in Southern California, which is about an hour east of L.A. Right. And when I asked, like, when I met you, I could tell that you had a style, and then there's a nice thing about connecting on Instagram. I said, wow, besides fo this guy, Devin, I mean, tell people what you're doing with the, uh, the social media, particularly, what, there was like a concert you went to, and it, it looks like a movie. Uh, tell people about this. Oh, yeah, this was from the uh, Astro World Tour out in uh, L.A. back in February of 2019. It's part of an uh, ongoing project I'm trying to put together. It was about my entire uh, college experience, and that was just one of the many uh, segments of that uh, project that I'm still working on. Right, but just to see that and how we're living now, there's not going to be a concert anytime soon. Yeah, it's definitely making me appreciate those uh, videos that took a lot more. Uh, back then, would I have known that all this was going to happen? But I'm definitely glad I took as many videos as I did because they're definitely appreciated now. I've been reminiscing a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of appreci 
like uh, 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 Damoni at De La Salle. It's not a typical summer. Uh, what's going on over there? Yeah, times are changing, and so we have to pretty much keep up with it. But I'm thankful for Coach Allen Ball and the rest of the coaches that are able to work around it and keeping us out there and keeping us active. Uh, so right now we're in, like, kind of blocks. It's 11 of us on the field, and we're participating in, like, circuits and ball work and speed work and just really trying to get ourselves conditioned and ready for the season. Um, it's honestly a, a big difference from our usual of all of us on the field doing liners on a, and track on one day. But um, – we're working through it. It's a, it's an, it's getting better as we go on, and hopefully we get in the weight room soon. So that will also improve our, um, improve our morale and improve um, the season, and hopefully let us go forward. Right. No, it's like you can control what you can control. Right now, it's just groups of ten. You know, we don't even know if there's going to be a season. You know, and then the other strange thing is with like De La Salle, it's always about that first game. Like last year, it was about Aquinas. And then this year was going to be about um, North Shore in Houston. And now it's just hopefully the play. I mean, we'll find out soon. I mean, I don't, I mean, they could say next Monday, play ball. I mean, that would be crazy if they did. I mean, uh, it would be, I mean, it would be one of some people like us. Well, that's fantastic. And then everybody else will be like, what just happened? You know, so you know, I, I think that's a pipe dream. I mean, in the back of your mind, are you hopeful for, like, uh, January, or you're just hopeful for anything? Well, what, what are you thinking? I'm honestly just hopeful for a season, especially for this being my junior year, and then along with all the seniors, like Lou, Dorian, Nico Torres, Trey Dean, North, uh, Northfleet, just all of them, I hope they get a season. Because, um, you know, this is the final year. The final year they get to, like, really cement their, um, their, their legacy in De La. So, yeah. No, that's the thing. You know, as I said, you're a rising junior. Yeah, the seniors have one more shot. I'm trying to think. I just thought of something. We we're talking about juniors and seniors. So, so uh, Devin, I, I never saw the 13 team, but I met the guys that I think the sophomores, Boss, Aussie, who was sweet. Who? Tell me about the 13 team. Who are? Who, I mean, were there other younger guys that were contributing? Oh uh, yeah, we still had uh, players like Zavari Anderson. Then we still had a bunch of players across my class, like the Summer Houston's, the Das Halatasis, Kevin Griffin. Honestly, we had a laundry list of, like, really good players. We had Khalil McKenzie on that team at the time. And I think we had one of the biggest offensive lines uh, in recent, like, De La Salle history at that time. So, that was pretty nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no whatever. But did you know that Boss and Aussie were as good as – I mean, did you think they would be as good as they became? Yeah. It was just a matter of time. Right. The only uh, – honestly, the only thing I really got wrong with uh, – their path going up until now was uh, the school's part. When Dev went up uh, going to Michigan at first, right? I thought they would have both ended up at the same school. Did they end up at the same school in the end? Yes, but I thought it just would have been straightforward from the beginning. Sure. And then I'm trying to think well, what else to talk about. Uh, uh, what did you learn from uh, Justin Allenbaugh? Because he's he's tough but fair. Boy, I that's a guy I definitely learned a lot from. Uh, definitely just a a huge mentor figure. Just, uh, how can I say? He's a fountain of knowledge. It's hard to really just pinpoint like one, uh, one thing to learn from Coach Allen Ball, especially with uh, him being a history teacher. He, there's all kinds of things he can teach you. And he has been a great teacher for a lot of us in uh, multiple ways. Yeah, it's, it's more than football, it's about life. Say it again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's more than football, it's about life. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, and then for you, you're going through it right now. Uh, and also, uh, um, Demoni, um, I, I watch it, and I, I'm not like a scout. I know more than a casual fan, but I don't know as much of the coach or probably your dad. To me, I, you know, I see you running around a linebacker as a sophomore, then it made me very happy. There's, you're in the backfield, your brother's laughing too. You're carrying the ball. Was, was that planned? How did that come about? Um, originally, no. Um, I played running back my freshman year, but then I tried to, I tried to hop into tight end. Um, and Coach Kenyon actually, Coach uh, Nate Kenyon actually influenced me to go back at running back. And uh, that pushed me to get the ball more and hopefully become a starter or a huge rotator this season. Well, that's the thing. I mean, like last year was Shamar and Kobe, and they're getting ready for that. And here comes you. Uh, uh, Devin, would you want to tackle your brother? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I'm quite curious to see how that will go. 
<laughs> would it go well? We don't know. I mean, uh, you got the years. I mean, maybe we'll find out one day. <laughs> what do we exact? We, you better do it soon. I mean, if you keep putting True. it off, it, it, it's only going to get worse, right? He's already snatched me in height, so it's a matter of time for the rest of the size, right? Right, right, right. And then I'm trying to think, you must have been, were you defensive line, Devin? Yeah, defensive line all okay. the way. Okay. No, you, 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 you would have not, not as fast as him, but you would have some speed coming around the corner. A little bit. A little yeah, bit. okay. You're, you're, you're modest. And then I'm trying to think where else we can lead this. I mean, it's open-ended. See, for me, this is the neat thing, just knowing you guys. I mean, and I don't know why. I, I just like – I like both of you. But I, it, it's your brother, uh, Demoni. Devin, I don't know. He always looks good. I mean, I'm walking out of a game. I'm dressed pretty good. I have a nice warm coat. You're, you're dressed like you're coming out of Hollywood. The giant snow jacket. Oh. <laughs> you tell, tell people, well, what were you, it, was a, it, was this, it was a great-looking jacket. Uh, yeah. Honestly, it was just a pickup I randomly found at the mall one day. Honestly, kind of a big jacket for California. But I figured, hey, why not try something different? You're kidding me. You found that at the mall? You're not even trying? You just found that at the mall? No complete accident. <laughs> okay. And then what about, as I said, um, I'm trying to think of where to lead. I mean, what, what, what haven't we covered? I mean, we could talk, we could talk about anything, you know, uh, maybe just the parallels. Like, so um, I, I asked um, Devin about uh, Justin Alba. Uh, Demody, what, are, what, are, what, what uh, for you? I mean, going through it right now. I mean, you're, 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 what have you learned from Justin? Um, just like never like take failure as just an option. Continue pushing regardless of like whatever comes your way, no matter defeat, loss, um, any type of um, just any type of setback. Really, just continue pushing, and the like an answer will come. Um, he's just really been like a, a great figure yeah. for me. Just just to keep pushing, pretty much like just to really keep that like I'm gonna be on top mindset. What was the first time? It was as a freshman. Was the first time you talked to him, or uh... Uh, the first time I formally talked to him was actually asking him, "Could I work out with varsity my freshman year?" Right. And and, it, and was that a yes? I can't remember. Yes, it, it actually was a yes. He told me to bring my stuff by two fifteen. Wow. And, and so th th that was that when Henry and Hofoski were there. Uh, that's that was the season after. So exactly like that was. Um, Spring workouts, so yeah. Spring, oh, that's right. They were still in school, but yeah, exactly. So this would have been the uh, the eight. I'm trying to think. Or this 18, 19, 19. 20. So, gonna... so this, yeah. So what summer was this? Uh, summer, summer nineteen. Yeah. It's summer nineteen, exactly. Okay, that's right. Because they were still there, but they were getting ready for uh, Tennessee and Notre Dame. Yeah, I, I, I can't. It's the summer for me. I remember that season. The nineteen. It was. It was last year. What uh, what were some of the, uh, the 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 big guys when you were working out? Uh, for sure, Shamar and um, and Hackett, Hackett, uh, Crespi, um, um, C Strand, Rowe. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, you don't want to try to outlift Rowe or Hackett. Those guys can lift. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> Yeah, no, and I'm trying to think, just for you guys, what about the, the brother, how the, the roles have flipped? How uh, uh, Devota, Devota used to watch uh, Devin. Devin, you must be thrilled on a Friday night to go watch your brother now. Yeah, it's definitely a different experience watching it from the sidelines now. Uh, honestly, couldn't be happier. Uh, I'm glad he's getting to experience the same thing I got to go through. Honestly, from a totally different perspective now, especially with the position he's playing now. Uh, Another perspective, too, with him being a sophomore on varsity uh, for his start. I was only a junior, but still just proud all the same. Uh, but, yeah, it's been fun to kind of step back to play the mentor figure now. I don't want to uh, – how can I say? I don't want him to have, like, the exact same experience I had. I want him to have his own, his own experience. I don't want to put too much influence on what he should do or anything like that. I want him to be his own. I want him to be his own person, Adele LaSalle, and his own player. I want him to have his own legacy beyond whatever I may have accomplished. Yeah, no, I think I figured it out. You're taking a back seat. You're not going to provide. But if he asks you something, that's what I think you'll provide insight, correct, if he asks? Of course. I'm always yeah. here. Yeah. And then what about the other way, the, the, the example that your brother set by graduating from college? I mean, he's, he's, he's a role model for you, correct? Yeah, he's one of my top role models, actually. Um, I follow – 
I, I kind of keep trying to keep the same mindset of going to college and finishing college and then carrying out and finding what to do. And also just enjoying my high school experience. Like he always tells me, like it's going to go by super fast and I just need to like take my time and enjoy it and really enjoy the moments I have with like my, my group of friends, my brothers, and just, yeah, and just really appreciate all the time I have in high school because things change once you go to college. Yeah, really. and what about this? When you watch either the college or the pros, uh, who, who's a player you keep your eyes on? Um, well, my all-time favorite used to be Marshawn Lynch, so I would always really keep an eye on him, especially for him being from the Bay. Um, that's always the guy I've always just kind of kept my eyes on, even though he was like, even though he's switched teams a few times and I, he's not really part of my favorite team, I still keep eyes on him constantly. Yeah, well, what's your favorite team? Uh, 49ers, actually. Okay, yeah. That, that would be too. How, but aren't you guys, get your brother shake your head, aren't you guys Oakland? Well, <laughs> it's uh, complicated. Yeah. Okay. But, but where, does, where, does, where does San Francisco fit in? I said that's where uh, so... It was originally because of, like, I had always been a fan of the Raiders originally because of, like, that was what my father supported, and that's what he always pushed, and that's what my mom liked also. But then I got kind of into the 49ers because I, I really liked Colin Kaepernick when I was younger, and then my auntie kind of influenced me over there. So it just kind of became, like, a, a tradition for me to support the 49ers pretty much. Actually, you were ahead of the times. There are no more Raiders. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, I mean, and I'm an old man. You know, the Raiders have left twice now. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's not going to be a third time. I mean, but so no, yeah. So that's it. So that uh, that's the 49ers. And what about for uh, for you, uh, Devin? Uh, for me, I eventually. Found... Right now, what? I, I should be smarter. I, so oh, like it's, it's on your shirt. So how did uh, that come about? But uh, I grew up a huge Ray Lewis fan. Right. Uh, the reason why I wore 52 – well, no, that was a complete accident. But uh, after the fact, I was still able to wear it in junior college and uh, my time at Redlands. So I had always grew up a huge fan of Ray Lewis and just watching him play. Then uh, even through their down years, they were just still my team. So to get Lamar Jackson now was a uh, great payoff for that waiting period. I'm happy to see what they'll do next. Right. Well, I, that's, I, I should have yeah, – you're wearing a ball – you don't see too many Baltimore Ravens uh, in the Bay. I mean, that's impressive. And what? What? Am, I lost my train of thought. Oh, what about your brother? I mean, playing linebacker. I mean, I mean, that must be uh, just like Ray. Uh, it's definitely cool to see, but I think they're two different style of players. I think he has his own unique. Uh, they both have their own unique flair to the way they play. Uh, even if Demani might not be the most aggressive linebacker, I think he's one of the more. Uh, how can I say? Not necessarily a finesse linebacker, but he's very smooth with his movements. Almost like how you can say Marcus Allen runs the ball. I would compare how Damati plays running back. It's very smooth. It's very, I don't know. It's definitely smooth, but still developing. No, no, no that's his all. Yeah, Damati, you're just efficient. I mean, you're, Ray Lewis liked to be seen. He was about the theatrics. There's no theatrics from you. You're all about the business, correct? Yeah, I'm. I'm more about getting getting the hits in. Pretty much bringing bringing my power instead of bringing my uh, speed. Usually, like when I hit the second level, then that's where I'll probably speed up more of the time. But if I see someone coming, then I'm probably gonna try to bring my shoulder down and try to hit them instead of trying to move my way around like a like a smaller or shorter guy probably would. Like Shamar probably would or Kobe probably would. Well, that's the thing. People think of Kobe as a running not not Kobe both, but uh, Shamar. You don't want to get hit by Shamar. Yeah, Shamar, Shamar is very, very strong and very powerful when he can. Well, I, I got to get back in touch with him. It looks like he's aged like two or three years during the quarantine. He, he was always – have you seen what I'm talking about? I mean, he, he looks – I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, you're probably uh, glad that you're, yeah, you're not going to have to go up against him at practice. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm trying to think, though, for me, this has just been a wonderful – I mean, this has gone – even better than I thought. You know, I thought I got to get both brothers together. They both got personality and just because nobody else but me knows about this, you know, that, you know, the, the, the relationship you guys have, maybe we'll, we'll start first. We'll give uh, Devoni, I'll give you the fi uh, final thing to say, and then I'll, I'll turn it over to your brother. Um, uh, final words, pretty much just hoping for a season, especially for the seniors. And, um, 
looking forward to whatever progression we make through COVID. Uh, if that means more of us get to work out together, the weight room, more ball work, any of that, any of that would just be good with me. Um, looking forward to seeing how, when the school year starts, how the football season goes, and just hoping for honestly a great season and hopefully a championship if we can, if we're able to. That's awesome, uh, Devin. Uh, honestly, kind of similar to his. I'm just hoping the best for the future. I'm hoping they get to have a season, hoping that we're able to press th progress through things, uh, you know, safely and actually get to where the point of the season where we want to get to, to where we can actually, you know, you know, be able to play in pads, have, you know, the fans there and do everything that we need to. I just hope we do it the safest way possible. But, you know, I just hope we're able to get there at some point. I want to see him be able to progress. I want to see him be able to see De La Salle progress and just see things move forward. Well, say no more. This has been wonderful. Let me uh, uh, stop the stream here. I'll talk to you guys for a, a quick moment afterwards. Uh, thank you for your time today. Thank, thank you. you. You're very cool.